So I come down to Ponderosa Skate Park this morning to try to learn backsmiths. Perfect little ledge spot here for me to learn backsmiths on. All that's missing is my ability to do backsmiths. Oh. G'day guys, just doing a bit of a voiceover here. Otherwise this video would be extremely boring to watch. So sorry about the footage in the beginning. It's kind of messy, I don't know why. It wasn't as clear as these clips here. This is me just getting warmed up, doing some basic stuff, trying to get my legs warm, trying to get my body warm. Little front board. I think I was trying to figure out how to lock in this trick. It's like a toe side pinch. So this is me figuring out the lock in and trying to figure out where to put my weight. That's me being scared to jump on a backsmith. It's my first attempt. I got stuck. Second attempt, I, I didn't even lock. Third attempt, didn't even lock in at all. Fourth go, locked in the wrong side. This is quite a tough trick for me to learn. Um, it requires a few different things and I suck at them. So, yeah. That one wasn't bad, but it was kind of a smifty 50. And what I mean by smifty 50 is that I can back smith, but the board isn't dipped, so it looks really lame. There's a smifty 50 right there. And the last one was kind of it, but it was kind of a smifty 50 as well. So it's day two back at Ponderosa today. I feel like a few of the smiths I did the other time I was here, they were dipped and my board was on the ledge, but they were few and far between. I've been getting heaps of smifty 50s and I don't like that. I want my board to be dipped and I want to be able to grind longer than just a foot and a half at the end of the ledge. The last one I just, look at my $8 haircut. The last one I did, I feel like that was pretty dipped. Um, I feel like there's a kind of motion you do to get into the backsmith. It's kind of like a weird ollie kind of back 180-ish motion, obviously, because it's backside, but I'm gonna go, I, that was on the small ledge, I'm gonna go to the main ledge I was skating the other day and see how it goes. So I feel like that was kind of, I'm starting to kind of grasp the idea of the trick now, so yeah. This is day three out at Ponderosa. I got my long lens with me this time. I bought a long lens just for this video. So hopefully this video gets some views so I can make my money back on that lens. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of scared to jump into backsmith right now. The small side of the ledge is like rusted as and I don't have wax. So I'm just gonna have to put my big boy pants on today and try to hit the regular side of the ledge with the backsmith. Another day, another backsmith. And the same problems just keep happening. I either lock in on the wrong side or I completely miss my lock and my heel and my heel side wheel just kind of falls down off the ledge. I keep getting stuck. That was a decent lock in. I just, I need to have my weight pushed back in the back seat. I feel like this trick is all back seat and I'm struggling with it. So the ones you see me getting are like mostly smifty 50s and I hate them. That was a good dip, but I just stopped. That was a smifty 50. That wasn't even anything. That was terrible. And that was another Smifty 50. So yeah, I'm really good at Smifty. I got stuck on that one. I'm really good at Smifty 50. I feel like I'd probably be good at that. There's another Smifty 50. I think it's a back salad or something. I'd probably be good at that trick. I think it's the same locking, but you just turn it. That was kind of another Smifty 50. That was a good back smith, but I just fell out of it. I could backsmith way better on this side of the ledge because it was shorter. I didn't have to pop as high and it felt more comforting popping out of that crack just there. So that was the best backsmith that I got that day. Day three or day four, I don't know what day it is now. I've been training this backsmith at Ponderosa. Someone took the biggest bog at the bottom of one of the banks here at Pondy and the whole park just reeks like shit. So having to battle the smell of shit today. Same bloke, same ledge same trick no results yeah kick the board away mate I feel like some of the, that one was decent but it was, wasn't as dipped but maybe it's just the camera angle that one was smifty 50 again that one was dipped but I stepped my weight went forward your weight needs to be back that one was decent too but I just fell out of it these ones get a bit better that one was dipped really nice that one was kind of better and I think that's the best one that I got. <laughs> I like that you have to grab here every time. 
really have to commit to like popping and throwing your shoulders that way. That time I was still like stiff, but you have to really commit to like getting your weight kind of up and over the ledge. Ah, that was dipped. I just, my weight wasn't right. So that one could have been good, but I fell out. I'm trying to like get a nice controlled pull out. Some things I couldn't find on any YouTube tutorial on a backsmith is like the pocket. So if I'm back, if I'm goofy, right, I'm backsmithing, you want to pinch. Your weight has to be on this side of the board. I mean, you're, I feel like your front foot can be like anywhere, but your back foot, I feel like has to be more this way and your weight has to be here too to get that pinch. Because my problem was I was getting on like this and because my heel is over here, I just stop or I'd pop out or I'd just fall out. So I feel like your weight has to be pinched right here. That's a pinch you want on this side, so away from the ledge. Everyone's just like, just ollie and point your foot. That's all they say. I couldn't find a good back smooth tutorial. So if this helps you in any way, please let me know. Um, yeah, I feel like I've explained it horribly, but just this is how it works in my mind. I can back smooth kind of like I, I back smooth from this ticket here. I don't know how many meters that is. That's probably like almost two meters. Um, yeah, <laughs> they're not where I want them to be. I want to get like a nice pop out, but I'll take what I can get. I might try a few more to get like a cleaner one, and then yeah. Hey, that, was, yeah. that was better. Trying to get my board on the ledge, you know? Just the hillside board on your... Trying to get the hillside edge of the board on the ledge. <laughs> I can't speak English anymore. I've been in America too long. I'm trying to be like this, so... How does that make sense? What? Because <laughs> yes. you guys don't speak English. Oh. Come here. So, if you can imagine there's like an invisible line where the ledge is right here. I feel like that's where your weight needs to be. Is this invisible line right here. Between this pocket here, pressing down. And then this side of your hillside edge diagonally. Or caddy cornered is what Americans say. To be like that. So then you're standing center of the ledge with the boards crooked, if that makes sense. I don't know. I'm figuring it out, so hopefully you guys figure it out too. Let's go, it's not like shit here. Score. I was just ringing because I was at Ponderosa skate park earlier today okay. and it appears that someone has um, defecated on the bottom of one of the ramps and it's quite okay. smelly and it's been there for a couple of days now so I don't know what okay yeah okay in the skate park correct yes it's in the skate park you can't miss it okay I will go ahead and notify maintenance so they can go ahead and head out over there cool thank, thank you thank you so much you're welcome bye, -bye. what happened <laughs> Whoever took that shit has some major GI issues. Like, they have some intestinal problems. <laughs> I think it was so dark because it was just left in the sun. It was black. It was black as the ace of spades, and that's what happens to human turds if you leave them in the sun. Mm -hmm. they, they get sunburnt. They get burned <laughs> like a Subway cookie. Like, you know those double dark chocolate Subway cookies? That's what happened. So that's the video. I still can't backsmith, but I feel like I'm getting more confident at trying this trick. I wish I could just, you know, snap an ollie and then sit into like a really nice backsmith, but I can't. So that's something I'm just going to have to keep chipping away at. Um, I'm a little bit sunburnt. As you can see, I went out skating all day today with no sunscreen, like an amateur. So now I look all shiny and blah. If you guys enjoyed this video and you guys found that it helped in any way, please comment below. Um, if you have any tips or if you can see what I'm doing wrong, please comment below. Let me know. I'm trying to learn this thing with you guys, unless you guys can already do it. And yeah, check out eveningmob.com. Pick something up. It's one way to support your boy. Um, yeah, hang tight. New video on the way after this one. Cheers for watching this one. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Red, I want you to go to his house. Blow that joint up. Don't let nobody out. Oh, get Trigger Man. Bring him to me. Cause I'm tired of this Trigger Man stuff in Tennessee. Now all the time while this stuff is going on. I called up another roadie on my flip phone. Junior, I want you to come.
Yeah.